Hey, how are you, Rafa? How are you, Katia? How are you, Anna Vilma? Hi, teacher. How was your day? Uh, today was a stressful day. Oh, stressful. Yes. We had a board meeting. Mm. So since yesterday, we had to prepare many reports for today. So, but was good. Okay. Yes. And were you ready with the reports? Yes, yes. Yesterday, I came, I came at home around 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes. And today I, I was uh, early in the office to prepare everything. Okay. To make sure there were no problems, right? No, no. Everything was good. good. That's good. Yes. And you finished the reports, everything? Okay? Yes, I finished everything okay. I oh. feel relieved. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Great to hear that. I'm glad sometimes it's, you get nervous and you say, oh my God, so much. Yes, I can, yes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, yes, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Let's see who else. Katya, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good I am evening. fine. Thank you. What happened today? Good evening. I am fine, teacher. Mm -hmm. How was your day? It was uh, I don't know, quiet. <laughs> I, I was read more than yesterday. Okay. Yesterday I have a meeting. I have a lot of work here in my house. When I have to, to stay calm, to stay calm and rest, but always is many. But today I I am I am relaxed. Okay, all right. Happy to. Okay, that's good. good to hear that. Okay. Francisco, how about you? How was your day? Hi, good evening. I'm sorry. I'm I'm eating my dinner. Hi. Um, no okay, no, 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 but but this day. I have a uh, mindfulness. Uh, I ha I had I had a pain in my arm because the last Wednesday I was to receive the third doses vaccine and the effect in my body is strong. Really? Yes. Um my um, fever and pain in, the, in my back and my arm. Mm, and today I I went to the work and in the morning, oh my God, it's uh, difficult um, moves the, the, the class class and, and speak with my student um, was was hard. So I I hope better sleep early. And Francisco, with the first and the second uh, doses, did you have any effects? No, because the first and second doses was Sinovac vaccine. And effect is low. And the third dosis um, was Moderna. And Moderna is a, a strong. Uh, the, uh, the effects uh, are, are uh, pain and fever 
and tighter and another effect, but this affects uh, feelings in my body. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why I, I heard, I heard many people, they, they comment that in the third doses, they feel the effect in their body, but in the first two, ah, no problem. Yes, it's true. Everybody in my job uh, received the third doses. Everybody sick today. <laughs> ah, today. Yes, uh, because uh, the, uh, the last Wednesday and um, today's, uh, and today, yes, mm -hmm. um, received the vaccine and everybody uh, presents the effects. So nobody went to work today or what happened? <laughs> yeah, suppose tomorrow, I don't know, uh, um anybody i don't know teachers uh, will come to their work i don't know okay so maybe maybe tomorrow the everybody says no 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 not the, not the day for work huh yeah it's probably <laughs> yeah it's possible it's possible Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear everybody. I see we have a lot of people here. It's good. I'm glad we are ready. We can get started. Uh, yesterday, we started to look a little bit at the topic of past models. Do you remember? This was the last topic that we saw. Do you remember a little bit about the past models? These were with could, I will have, I could have. Correct, that's it. It's with the have. Remember, the models are always the same. The models are not the problem. The important is that the models change for the context, but when you use the word have is in the past. So for example, I can tell uh, Francisco, Francisco, you should drink a lot of water, but that is now. If I want to give the Francisco, my recommendation in the past, I say you should have drunk a lot of water, always with the past part. Okay, does that make sense? Teacher, uh, uh, so uh, my confused yesterday um, was the, the grammar structure this sentence because uh, the, the, the um, the models use um, time verb, for example, the past tense, the past tense, and the past participle, and um, half is present. The, 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 the mix of the different times is uh, confused to, uh, to me. Ah, uh, okay. It's because you are thinking that half is present, but half is not present. Have is used in the, is the name, for example, is present perfect, but have is used for actions in the past that affect now. For example, I have gone to Guatemala is not now, is I did in the past. So have is not, okay. uh -huh, have is not the verb, have is the auxiliary. Auxiliary, when, okay. Uh -huh, when, when have is the auxiliary, the idea is in the past, the activity is in the past. But the next verb is past participle Correct. or past simple. No, no, no. Part past participle. Yes. Okay. Always, always. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to watch the video from yesterday to help us remember a little bit. In case we don't remember, uh, we're going to watch the video to help us with past and uh, past models. Okay. This is from 5.8. So in section 5.8, you can see the video if you want, right here, if you need to watch it later, right now, we're going to watch this one. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. 
Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Okay. So maybe a little bit of a confusion was on how we make it. So I'm going to help us by putting in the chat a, a few examples, okay? So we can have the, the idea. We're going to use modal, okay? We're going to have the idea of after the modal is the verb have, and then we're going to use a past participle. That's going to be the main structure. Okay, so we can see in the chat. So if, if I put me, my position, right, what I do, then I say I would have gotten, or in this case, for, for in the case of Francisco, I would, I would not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gotten the third shot. Okay, I think ah, two is enough. It's okay. I don't need the three. This is for me, what I do. This is what I do. If I give my opinion to Francisco, okay, I tell Francisco, you should have, and then my opinion. Or I can use, you shouldn't have. In my case, I'm going to say you shouldn't. You shouldn't have gotten their shot. So you see, the first and the second sentence are the correct. The difference is what I do, and the other is what I recommend with should or shouldn't. Okay. Now, of course, we can use other options. Okay. You could have, for example, you could have asked for the, I don't know, um, I think we, there, there is the Pfizer, the Pfizer shot, for example, or the Pfizer vaccine. I don't remember if it's, uh, I don't know all of the ones that we have in El Salvador, but. Moderna. Moderna, that's the other one. Yeah, Moderna, AstraZeneca, okay. Correct, Francisco, that's right. The, you have the correct structure. That is your recommendation, okay? If you make your decision, you can say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done questions in class. Now, remember, the idea, the idea is correct but we don't use done questions. The correct verb is you shouldn't have made questions. The idea is correct, only the verb done, no. We use made questions.
is that okay guys it's, it's a little bit better how we how we make our opinion or give a recommendation or what we have for options cheating on Alex. okay so the idea is we're going to give different situations okay we're going to normally we use it when we use this structure when we're talking about problems situations opinion okay I, as an example i say alexander my girlfriend cheated on me uh, francisco wouldn't wouldn't have uh, let me see would have separated to her so so we got to follow the structure remember it's in this it's in the chat it's in the chat the structure so for example you can give your opinion okay you shouldn't have okay maybe separated mm -hmm. okay maybe you are saying you shouldn't have separated from her this is your opinion okay or you you can say something else you should you should have uh treated her maybe i didn't treat her well maybe i i was a bad boyfriend you should have treated her better as an example mm. right okay. we can use a negative or a positive and this oh, is okay. your opinion for my when i say my girlfriend cheated on me okay okay ah omar omar i forgot my wife's anniversary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i i hear the noise mm -hmm. what happens mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a big problem it's a big problem uh-huh i forgot my wife's anniversary uh -huh. omar what happened you shouldn't you shouldn't have Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna Pinella. I see Anna energetic. Anna, Anna wants to participate. <laughs> Go ahead, Anna. Tell me. Tell me, Anna. That you shouldn't have forget your, your 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 anniversary. Almost. Remember, follow the structure. Follow the structure. Only one word is incorrect. One word was incorrect. You shouldn't have forgotten. Hey, there you go, Anna. There you go. Past participle. Past participle. Okay. okay. Or maybe, or, or maybe, you should have, uh, you should have same flower. Exactly. Her. Scent with tea. Yeah. Scent. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Oh. Mm hmm. And is is your opinion? Oh, you could you could have apologized. It's an option. You could have created a story that you had a, a dinner planned for the next week. Whatever. That's yes. you should you should have but uh, expensive gift. Exactly. What? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. No, no. <laughs> You see with Anna, it's difficult to be the yeah. husband. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money, baby. A lot of money. <laughs> he must pay. He must pay. Imagine, Omar, I must pay. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. That is the idea. All right, Henry? It's okay. You are going to give situation to your partner, and your partner is going to give you their opinion, their recommendation, or the options. Any but, is, but in this case, it's too late. All yes. in, exactly. Yes. In all cases, it's too late. It's, it's only a possibility you regret, maybe. Yeah? Exactly. That is the difference. All, all mm -hmm. of them are possibilities you regret. Yes, uh -huh. you regret, it's but it's too late. Exactly. Uh -huh. All are yeah. too late. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so okay. now i cannot change yeah mm -hmm. I, can, I cannot change anything but i can give recommendation to improve for the future ah. right i say in the past okay uh, i went for example i went to the movies to i went to see uh, i don't know jungle cruise ah is it was a terrible movie henry can tell me ah 
you should have seen uh, James Bond. It's an excellent movie. You should have gone with uh, the 3D. It's an whatever. It's only to give your opinion, mm -hmm. recommendations, suggestions okay. in the past. In the okay. past. Okay. Okay. Is is a little bit better? Is is clear now? Yes. It's better. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. Let's try. Remember, put the situation in the past, and your partner is going to give you a suggestion, a recommendation, or an opinion. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's try it, Engar. Rafa, are you having problems? Yes, teacher, I have an issue with my internet. Okay, no problem. I, I'm going to send you to another group and I move your partner okay. to another group, Thank you. just in case. Okay, Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Sure. Let's try. if they won the lottery if he were pre hi are you ready to describe imaginary situations you will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation unreal conditional sentences with if clauses unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present what would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. 
What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Lend. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy. Find. Forget. Lend. Lose. Marry. Refuse. Remember. Save. Spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Exam. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about options in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam.
Okay, so it's okay. We're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's, let's okay. check. Okay, let's check and see how we have this. Uh, this is 5.9, 5.9 knowledge check. Okay, let's try together. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? Done. 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 Okay. Done. Okay, because it's the past part. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. You should have said. 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 Good. Said. Everybody pronounce said. 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 Like in said. Spanish, like when you are, ah, do you want water? Said. 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 Okay, okay. It's a good, said. Yeah. It's a good said. way to, to yes. remember. Uh, to remember the pronunciation. <laughs> good. Yeah. Letter B, you shouldn't have taken. 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 I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What yeah. would you have done? Done. Done. done? done. Very good. What would you um, have done? Okay, good. I would have replaced. 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 First, the second, or the third? The first, 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 one. first one. Okay. Good. Second, pronunci second. The pronunciation is Se we second. Second one. Okay. Okay. What, 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 what is the first one? The, 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 rules, the rules say that when you add ED and you have a, a J, normally you change the J by uh, a, a I. To I. To I. Henry, a H. Y. That's a right. Y. Yeah, Y. When you have the Y, you change the Y and put I E D. Yeah. yeah. Correct. What the is pronunciation the is. Huh? The pronunciation, please. Yes. The pronunciation is replied. 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 Okay. Number three. I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I have done? Have done. Have done. Have done. Okay. Have done. Good. You should have taken. 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 The call. Okay. And told. Told. The person you call later. Yes. We left our trash at the campsite. Would have done. Would have done. Would have done. Would have done. Okay. Would have done. Good. I would have taken it with me and. Trauma. 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 Excellent. Donald Trump. Trump. So you can see all of the answers are correct. Good. The important, what is the important about this lesson is that always we use have with the past okay. participle. Have and the past participle. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to have a reading exercise. Okay. So here we have several sections. We're going to read and with your partners, you're going to discuss what is the meaning of those words. Okay. So for example, in here, they say the word confront. What is the meaning? What do you understand from the text is the meaning? Distraught. According to the tense, according to the article, what is the meaning? Okay. okay. To do this, I'm going to put, sorry. I'll take a picture and put it into the WhatsApp. That way you can see. And then it makes it easier for you and your partners to read. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay. Let me try one more time. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I think it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Take a look in the WhatsApp. I think it's. Mm -hmm. Do you have the little lights from the, from the screen? But. It's... I think you can read it clearly. Okay. Okay. 
So for this exercise, you have 10 minutes, 10 minutes with your partner to do the task of read, read it, and then with your partner discuss what is the words, the meaning according to the context, according to the different article that's here. Okay. Okay. Katya, you okay? Okay.
Okay, guys, so let's take a look. What did you come up with your partners? What was number one, confront? Challenge in a direct way. Uh -huh. Challenge in a direct way. Okay. Challenge uh, in a direct way. Okay, good. What about distraught? Distraught. Uh -huh. Extremely worried. Worried, or worried and upset. Okay, good, good. Dilemma, dilemma, a difficult problem, difficult problem, a difficult firm, strong, strong and determined. 
Good. Pronunciation strong and determined. 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 Okay. Determined. What about work things out? Mm. Find a solution. Find a solution. Find the solution. Okay. Forgive and forget. Make, Make a, a fresh start. start. Make a fresh start. Make a fresh start. Hey, excellent, excellent. Good job, you guys working with your partners. Excellent work. Besides these words, were there any other words that were difficult or not clear from the reading? Were there any other words that you say, hmm, this one is not very clear for me? The pronunciation of distraught. 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 But this, but uh, this word is 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 difficult uh, and standing. Distraught. Uh, Extremely worried, upset. Right. Extremely upset, but upset Extremely not. Uh -huh, not like angry. For example, uh, my my grandmother died. Ah, uh, I was distraught. Mm, it's it's like, like it's like in shock. Um, more like destroyed emotionally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, willing. Willing. Yeah. Is that you want to do something? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you are willing, is you want to do. I am willing to help you. I want to help you. Mm, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other words? No, teacher. No? No. No. All right, excellent, guys. Great job. So that means with that exercise, we complete lesson five. Perfect, it's Thursday. So what does that mean? That means that for the weekend, you can have the opportunity to go slowly. It's not necessary to finish in one day. You can do one one day, another another, and so on. So what are you going to do? The first one is listening. Section A is listening. Section B is Simply complete the conversation. What is the correct way? Okay, you choose your statement or sentence to complete it. Letter C is you need to use the words that are in here and you need to rewrite the sentence. It's going to be the complete sentence. Okay, so okay. use the correct form of the verb here and then rewrite the sentence with this word. Okay. Okay, only three sentences there. And then in the next one, the last part is simply reading. Oh, wait a minute. There's a problem with the reading, huh? Yes, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a dumb. Oh, it's good it's that we check today. It's easy to understand it. One moment. Yes, it's good that we One moment. In this, I put into... I said to English Corporativo. Mm -hmm. Let me check. This is the section D, right? Okay. Let me try one more time. Okay. I have a little question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go the ahead. Book go ahead. That the book that you, English Corporativo, use to the grammar focus, uh, where is the, the book? I don't know. The English Corporativo puts it into the platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, I think they use different books. Depending on what they want, they take information from one or from another. But is, I, I see one part that looked like uh, a Cambridge book. I don't remember the name. Uh -huh. Maybe, I'm sure they take whatever they, they think is, is appropriate for the class. Mm. Edwin, yeah. yes. Edwin, I have a question. Okay. 
Can you help me uh, in the little C? Can you give me uh, the answer correct of the trend of the three uh, question? <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. I take an uh, exam mm -hmm. and uh, really I regret I regret the sentences is only I want to to run and I regret for the uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of weight <laughs> only, only is a, a, I felt around the, the second one but bueno I don't know. And the last one, if you, um, I, I hear you, you, you say to the, the, the English Corporativo because the, the, the reading mm -hmm. is, not, is not correct, yeah? It's not. Yeah, yeah I don't mm -hmm. know what happened, but yes, I, sent, yes. I sent the and, message in this yes. moment with a picture for the, with the screenshot, that way they understand what I am yes. talking about. Yes, yeah, because I fell for the second one and I need to the read for the last. Mm -hmm. And then I finish to my exam, but I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. Uh -huh. So I, I hope that they fix maybe tomorrow and then we can work over the weekend or whatever. But besides letter D, you can do letter A, letter B, and letter C. Okay. Okay. Yes. Remember in letter A, is if you need to listen two times, three times, it's okay. You can listen two, three times, and then you answer the four questions, okay? Okay. You select the best one. So the best option is first, read the questions, then listen, select, and then listen again to check your answers to make sure it's clear. Okay. And here, the complete the conversation is like the practice from today. It, which is the correct way? Which is the correct model that you use? Okay, the correct verb, like today's practice. And then okay. letter D, this one, yes, is like our partner is saying, you have to use these words and be careful. You need to remember capital letters, period, changing yeah. if it's necessary to pass, to ING, to whatever you need. You need to make sure you're using the correct form. And then letter D, uh, I hope yeah. maybe uh, they bless you, bless you. I thank you. Well, maybe English Corporativo fix tomorrow, and then that's it. They and then you can work over the weekend. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, no problem. So I see. Katya had to go right now, no problem. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk with our partners. We have a few minutes left and we want to talk about our plan for the weekend. Partner, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to go with? What are you going to, what's going to happen? Okay? Okay. So for this one, we're just gonna have a few minutes and then we talk with our partners. Okay. Okay. Henry, you okay? Byron, any problems?
Byron, you okay? What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well... They say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay, guys, I'm glad we have the opportunity to practice and that we reviewed a little bit about how you have to do your exam. Remember, in the weekend, complete unit five, complete unit five. That way you don't have next week, I, I, I have to do, I have to complete, I, I need my diploma. No, 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 we have time. We finished the units, only complete, okay? Yeah, yes, teacher. All right, guys. Okay. Have a great Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Have a okay. great night. Bye. Bye. Have good a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.